The watch collecting journey. Hmm. Well, if you're going to go out and build a collection, there is nothing better than to go the full nine yards and get yourself a watch box from Goyard to showcase your watches. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my eight watch box from Goyard. Goyard was established in 1853, a company that is very much at the top of the box making industry. They specially specialize in boxes, trunks, and travel goods. Goyard are also producing some stunning leather goods such as wallets and handbags. And when it comes to selecting a watch box, many go for the Louis Vuitton watch box, which I quite like, but I believe the Goyard watch box was the one for me. And herewith, I made it happen. Goyard is a very exclusive brand with unconventional ways of doing business. In today's modern age of buying online, Goyard has gone the complete opposite route and kept to their ways of dealing exclusively and directly with their customers. You cannot buy online nor over the phone. You have to go to one of their limited number of stores in the world whether that be Goyard in Paris, Monaco, London, Hong Kong. Once you have established yourself as a customer, they will deal with you by distance. But your very first purchase must be in person. Goyard is a brand that is at the highest of the highs of luxury goods. The watch box is perfect in size. The size I was after I didn't want a big hefty box. I was really looking for something with a low profile. It is in the iconic colors of Goyard with black and tan. The top of the box has the famous Goyard motif on the canvas and the box is made from leather and canvas with a strap and buckle on the top of the box to keep the box closed when traveling. The leather smells delightful the cushions are very beautiful and the spacing for each watch is more than sufficient the box is handmade hand stitched and with care and tension it is sure this box will last a lifetime giving the perfect home for watches for me to sit and admire them in all their glory My watch collection journey is very much a shared journey with my wife. Uh, While it is true that it is I that is the main driving force, my wife equally shares the the passion, the joy. Uh, And I'm very proud to have built up the collection over time with my wife very much on board and enjoying the journey with me. My number one watch is, of course, the Patek Philippe World Time 5231J uh, with the the, the cloisonné dial, the ultimate holy grail for me uh, and my pride and joy. This watch is very special. The hand-enameled cloisonné dial is a work of unique art. To go with my World Time, I bought my wife a World Time, the 7130R with factory set diamonds from Patek Philippe. My wife, she truly deserves the very best and uh, I I feel that it's a worthy compliment to my 5231J World Time. Um, I then have my JLC Reverso Tribute Duo Face, uh, a very special watch. I mean, what an amazing watch manufacturer JLC is. My God, they do make some stunning timepieces. This watch is a duo face, which is effectively two watches in one. 
uh, with the second face able to display a time zone different to the one at home. Of course, making it very useful for when traveling. Up next, we have my bluesy, the Rolex Submariner Date 116613LB with the sunburst dial. Just gorgeous. You need not hear more from me. Let the watch do the talking. We then have the Chopard Imperiale with rose gold. This is a quartz movement, very classy, clean, uh, and, and my God, stunning on my wife's wrist. Chopard is it's, it's more of a, uh, a jewelry piece, I would say, but uh, still my wife's first watch. Next is my wife's Rolex Date Just 17827 I love this watch and it has been a very good purchase. My wife wears this watch most days. It's a very solid option as a watch such as this, you know, being so versatile and durable for day-to-day uh, wearing. Finally, my Amiga Seamaster Diver 300M. This watch is special. I love this watch. Blue dial, blue bezel, and blue strap. Super comfortable to wear and can be worn on pretty much all occasions. Now then, we have one space left in the box. What should we be buying next? I'm leaning personally towards a watch from Arlange and Son. But what do you think? What watch should we be looking to add to the collection next? Thank you very much for your time and attention. If you could like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. What do you think of the Goyard watch box? What watch should we be adding next?